And the next person is Joe Biden. Hold on, hold on. Joe Biden, His Excellency, like the President of America. <laughs> hey guys, hello. It's a girl, it's me Talks here again. It's been so long that that it seems like I forgot us, but surely, surely we all know I didn't. Uh, I look so stressed out, do I? No, I don't. I look good, I look okay. So, today, I have been going on a research about a lot of things, and I feel so happy being here today. Like, yes, you can see I'm smiling a lot. I feel so happy being here today and I want to tell you some of the findings I've made. So from the title of the video, this is just part one of the findings that I have done and your girl is going to take you through what I have found out about some kind of things. So you all know that in this channel, I talk a lot about stammering. I talk a lot about my lifestyle because I think that I'm a person who cannot really take out stammering from my everyday life i can't take out stammering from my everyday life because it's what i do i think when i'm on camera i speak very fluently or at least 80 percent of the time i'm fluent but when people meet me in person or when um when i am on call video call audio call with people i tend to stutter a lot more so i think i'm a kind of person who is very camera friendly and i feel at ease when i'm with the camera and i also feel at ease too like it's it's shocking it's weird i feel at ease too when i am in front of people holding a mic like i love to do public speaking a lot that when i hold a mic i go so fluent like um at my first maybe my first five seconds i would maybe go like uh, 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 but as time goes on i'm fluent it's me being so expressive and vibing enjoying myself with the crowd so i think it's weird because most people who are stammerers who i've met who i've read about who i've watched they stammer more when they are in crowds or when they have cameras in front of them but i'm the opposite so as you can see isn't it talks is a very weird girl so let's go to what we have today i said the list of very famous people very influential people who are stammerers and this is a part one stay tuned guys so guys going to today's topic talking about the most influential people who are stammerers in the world the first i would love to come from the biblical aspects and this person mm, actually touches other religion but i believe that christianity is a relationship not a religion so the first person i'll be talking about one of the most influential men who have touched his world and is even touching today's generation who was a stammerer is moses moses in in the bible was described as the most meekest man on earth by god himself and this person we have read is a stammerer or was a stammerer moses is a name that surprisingly i checked up I, I i checked it up online and i found out that moses as a name touches both the christian the islamic and um what other um um, sector the um, is it called judaism yes sector of you know of worship that's um this name moses cuts across this um sectors of of um religion or what should i call it but as i said earlier i do not believe that christianity is a religion it is not a a religious practice so moses M moses was a child who was born in Egypt. As at that time, he is an Israelite, but was born in Egypt. And as at then, the Egyptians who were trying to cut down the birth of Israelites because they were afraid that the Israelites were great in numbers and would soon outgrow them and rule over them. So the king Pharaoh, as at that time, made a decree that um, when a child is born, um by an israelite that child should be killed 
So oh. Moses' mother, who is a typical mother, gave birth to her child and she could not bring herself to killing that child. So what she did was that she breastfeeded the child for three months and when she could no longer hide the child, she whipped a basket, put the child um, in it and um, placed the basket on the river Nile. And also she asked Moses's elder sister who is called Miriam to go and watch the basket. Then the basket floated to where um, one of Pharaoh's daughter was having her bath and she saw the basket, opened it and saw the most beautiful child she has ever seen in her life and that child was Moses. She took in that child as hers and trained up the child um, in the royal Egyptian certain now so um moses by birth is an israelite but by adoption he was an egyptian and his adopted mother's name is queen bishia in the midrash midrash guys m-i-d-r-a-s-h yeah so um as moses grew up we tend to found out that moses is someone who um is hot tempered yeah i would say moses is hot tempered and um moses killed um someone who is now supposed to be his kingsman because he found out that the egyptians were now you know um giving harsh treatment to the israelites and he knew that he was an israelite so going forward moses was a stammerer we see how moses is a stammerer when god called him asked him to go back to egypt to tell pharaoh to let his people go and moses tells god that he is a sp poor speaker he is a poor speaker and this i should lay emphasis on moses saying he is a poor speaker um, could actually mean a lot of things like w w we also have other speech impediments we have a lot we have Tourette, we have lips we have stammering we have a lot of things but um it's been made clear in several you know several articles even in the bible that it was stammering not any other speech impediment and and moses was so particular about his um speech condition that god had to give him Aaron to be his his um his mouthpiece it was not that God couldn't cure him but um Moses um thinks too highly of stammering like he sees stammering as as um, as a hindrance and as such God just let him be gave him a mouthpiece um, um piece called Aaron and Aaron became Right? Yes. Then Aaron became Moses' um, mouthpiece. So I'm proud to say that someone who God used so greatly in the Bible to pass the Red Sea, to take the um, Israelites out of the land of bondage into the promised land, was a Samara, like was one of us, or is still one of us. So I'm humbled. I'm honored. I feel so blessed. So let's go to number two. So guys, and the next person that we are going to be talking about is a world-class musician, Megan Washington. So, this woman was born, Megan Alexandra Washington, and she was born on the 7th of January, 1986. Megan is actually someone who I, I, I do not really know, but she inspired me in her TED talk. I watched the same TED talk on YouTube. I think that should be um, last week or last two weeks. And I was inspired. I saw a woman who who is not ashamed to take the mic, speaking to people from the depth of her heart and telling them of how, you know, of how beautiful this thing could be <laughs> like you know people don't understand stammering at all they they they, they don't they, they they don't understand stammering at all but for people who are close to stammerers or people who are stammerers themselves they tend to understand when someone as them 
you know, pull out their hats. I was surprised to, to, to see this beautiful young woman um, on the pixie cut kind of hair i think okay what, what will happen is that I'll, I'll just show you a bit of the video so um this beautiful woman wearing a mini gown and i think she was wearing a jacket on it holding her phone you know you know just and she was saying everything she was saying innocently like so purely she was telling everybody i have a problem and 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 it's 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 not the worst problem in the world it's just stammering and wow like i feel so amazed i feel so inspired a beautiful woman as that who is a world class you know singer coming out to tell the world that this is um just a little problem and yes it's it. and i i also saw her at the end of that video going to play the organ and sing and i heard one of the most amazing voices i've ever heard in my life and another thing another thing that i hold in high regard is most people who i see who stutter or who still stutters up to now has the most amazing voice i've ever listened to like those people need an award i think that and um, the Grammy section should give awards, especially to people who are stammerers, who sing. Like those people, their voices are so good, so heavenly. Yes. So Megan, um, Megan Alexandra Washington, who is married to Nick Waterman, is a stammerer. And let me just give you a glimpse of her video, right? Now, I have a a problem. It's not the worst thing in the world. I'm fine. I'm not on fire. I know that other people in the world have far worse things to to deal with, but for me, language and music are inextricably linked through this one thing. And the thing is that I have a stutter. And at number three is Joe Biden. Hold on, hold on. Joe Biden, the president of the United States of America, is a stutterer. So what do you think is holding you down? Man, stuttering sh should not be included in um, in being handicapped or being a disability. I do not think it is. Now, Joe Biden. Joe Biden is someone who I think I do not have to talk really long about. All of us know him. He... um contested the presidency um, seat for the United States of America al alongside his um, vice, who is um, Kamala Harris. And they, um, and their major opponent was Trump Donat, the former president of the United States of America. And um, Joe Biden, uh, wow, I'm so impressed. <sighs> I'm so excited. I'm happy. Yes, I'm happy. You know, people who are stammerers, most of us has let go some things that would have made us just because we have a stutter. Most of us has let go of the things that interest us, the things that should make us just because we think that stammering is a pause. As a stammerer, you're allowed to pause in your speech, but you are not allowed to pause in your ambition, in the things you want to do. You should own up to whatsoever it is. And this is why I, I am happy, I am touched, and at the same time, I feel very uh, emotional. Someone asked Joe Biden, who is still a stammerer, not worse, he still sits, man. He's still ruling the United States of America, and he's a stammerer. And um, I read in, in, in an article that even in his speech um when he's about to make a speech and the speech is written down for him it, it in that speech they mark where he is likely to break and when he sees those places he would pause and take a breath look i add uh, something else i pray for everybody is to have people around you who would always encourage you like to have people around you who would be able to work with you no matter what it is that you you go through or what you are like like i'm shocked i just read that now online that 
whenever he makes a speech that's um when his speech is written it is being marked at point where he is likely to make um a stutter and w when he reached places at like that he would stop he would take a break like he would breathe at those points in time like for people who do not know stammerers tend to stammer when um they approach words um that begin with p that begin with f that begins with um st yes that's what st is something that of course i ain't gonna avoid but it's 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 a block for most people who have, have a sort of you know st words what's beginning with st but of course god is helping us so i hope this encourages you knowing that the president of a first class country as the united states of america so yes. joe Biden, who is a stammerer is the president of america so what is holding you like what is holding us nothing nothing is holding us let's go of yourself be that person okay I think I do not want to preach today. I just want to pour out my heart. So let's go to when I want to talk about a YouTuber who inspired me to come into YouTube. I will be lying if I say Matisse is not one of them. I would be lying if I said I didn't hear Matisse talk on her channel and said if she could do this then I could do even more. I will be lying if I say that. Matisse, Ahanjami, I'm sorry if I don't get the surname correctly, but I'll be lying if I say that this beautiful black skinned girl did not inspire me to, to do what I am doing today. Matisse is a YouTuber, a young YouTuber. I think she should be. Um, either in her late 20s or early 30s but she looks so beautiful and young yes and okay so let's start from here Matisse is a black American obviously who um who is a great youtuber oh, God. she inspires me a lot like she inspired me a lot to go into this guys I tell you from the depth of my heart that Matisse is a person I watched her channel um, her, her video on her channel and I said to myself this person is like me and she is doing this and because of that I'm going to do this and do it even more even better Matisse thank you so much I do not know but in case by um, coincidence or by choice you stumble on this video I want you to know that you inspired me into doing this you are one of my inspirations because i have so many of them thank you so much so matisse is a young girl who is a stammerer a bold one <laughs> and should always show us of how she talks not editing anything showing us of how it is she shows us her um her Pauses, her weird faces she makes and whatsoever it is that she does her reactions and i am so impressed that people could still be this real i'm so shocked that people could still be this very open about their um, impediments look guys i am going to drop a video of her um just talking for like 10 seconds like no 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 like i think i need to drop this video so that you 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 would see what i am talking about do you believe in 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 black girl magic whoop so you saw that so i think now you know the reason why i love her so much and why i am inspired um M M matisse um matisse is a great youtuber yes um she has about 26.k subscribers and she does a lot more greatly i love how i love how she's very real i love how she's very vocal i love how she's very practical about our speech impediment because i think it's our thing not our thing anymore yeah so i've also seen her you know react to reading out loud i've seen her video of her 
uh, making a life call. I've seen her, you know, use Siri and how she vows never to use Siri because she said Siri is disrespectful. And I think I agree with her. Siri is disrespectful because she has been programmed to, to listen to a certain kind of people. And that is not, um, not good. Yeah. I do not like that she's been programmed to, to that. So, Matisse, thank you so much for inspiring the world. Thank you for making it to the least to be one of the most famous Tamaras who are changing lives or influencing the world. So, let's go there. And now for the number five person who stutters. I'm so shocked when I got this. He's a world-class athlete and he plays golf. Someone who stuttered because, as I read, he has overcome that. The person is no other person than our Tiger Woods. T Tiger Woods was born a stutterer. He had a stammer when he was born. And growing up as a child, it was a challenge as it is to everyone who is a stammerer. I can relate to that very much. Growing up as a child with a stutter, it's very challenging. It would be very depressing and that is a breeding ground for bullying yeah yeah people tend to bully you a lot when they realize that you are a stammerer or a stutterer whatsoever um term you use in your country yeah so um <clears throat> tiger wood said in one of his in interviews that growing up he had to balance between his speech impediments and his um love for sports he had to find a way to fight it like i read he said he fought it and yeah i love that um that fact that he 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 didn't run away from his speech impediment he didn't sit in the house and avoid talking he fought it i love that it inspires me a lot it inspired me to know that whatsoever it is that tries to stop you, you have to fight it. And he did, and he won. And today, he is the world-class renowned Tiger Woods who is inspiring so many other people as ourselves to understand that stammering should not stop you. Instead, it should spoil you to do that which you have inside of you. So, the number last person who we will be shocked to know that she is a stammerer yeah. Uh, is isn't it talks in case you do not know isn't it talks is a young girl a nigerian who is a stammerer and she owns a youtube channel which would um which is going to inspire the world which is going to inspire so many people this um young girl is trying to build a community of people who are stammerers and people who do not have confidence in themselves to so understand that no matter who you are you can you can always win. The most important thing is to fight it from inside of you. So thank you guys for this video. This is just the part one. There are so many more people who is still going to inspire you. So many people, I'm still doing my research and your girl is out to give you details. Stay tuned guys. Thank you. Please do not forget to share, subscribe, like my video. Please do not forget that. Um, it means a lot to me guys. Thank you so much. God bless you.